In this video, I am going to show you the very advanced way of starting Appium programmatically. So what we are going to use is the Appium Service Builder class that was introduced in 3.2.0. The current version as on today, that is uh, 3rd of June 2016, the day that I am recording this video is 4.0.0. And from 3.2 to 4.0, a lot of changes have been made to this Appium Service Builder class. So now let's try to do that. Um, how to start Appium programmatically using this Appium Service Builder. And to do that, I have already created uh, some pseudocode here. So I have created a class with the name launch Appium programmatically. And I have created a couple of uh, static methods so that I can use these uh, methods with the help of uh, the class name directly rather than creating an object of that and using it. So I have also written a couple of uh, sysout statements in both of these. So now let's try to start the program. So to do that, I'm going to create a private uh, variable outside uh, uh, a, a global private variable and I'm going to create a static uh, variable and I'll call it as Appium Service Builder and name it as service. And you have to import this and this is the package that you have to import from and once you have uh, created that uh, created that variable we are going to use that so i'm going to start using it here so i'll say service and i have to create uh, the appium service builder um, object and uh, inside this i'm going to use uh, some of the static methods i'm going to show you those uh, static methods what are those static methods and all so the very first one is that um, we are going to use uh, with uh, uh, with driver capability. Okay, sorry, it's not with driver capability. Using driver ca uh, executable. So this is the uh, location of your node that you where uh, your node is present. So our node uh, is usually present inside this user local bin. So if you open this uh, folder, you will see that it is present here. So the easiest way of getting that is uh, uh, just give me a second just drag it drag it and drop it another way of doing is right click and go to get info but you will get one folder up that is only till bin and you have to add node but this is the easiest way just copy this okay and uh, come to this class name and make sure that you don't give any spaces yeah that's it and import the file so once we have done that, the next thing is that uh, to uh, to tell the Appium Service Builder where is our Appium uh, located. So so we are going to use with Appium JS. So Appium is again a J uh, JavaScript file, and I I hope that you understand that uh, Appium was built in on on top of the Node, and so it is a JavaScript application. So the name of the file is always main.js. And the way that uh, to get is that right click wherever that your Appium is located and go to show in finder. And once you are here, right click on this and click on show package contents and inside package, uh, in, inside contents, go to resources and inside that go to node modules and Appium and build lib and inside that you will be able to see this. Again, the very easiest way of uh, opening that file path is that um, just drag it just give me a second all right just let me drag it and then copy the location of this file okay and there are some more options that you can do but for now i'm not going to use that there are some options that uh, you know you can see where uh, your log file is present with the help of with log file and uh, if you see that all of these methods would again return the appium service builder that is why we are able to chain all these methods okay i'm going to stop it stop till here and uh, this is how you start um, the appium but to do that again the, this is the object that we have created make sure that you use this build method and inside this build method you have another method start 
that returns nothing it returns void okay and uh, the way that to stop is service dot build dot stop all right so this is how you do the start and stop now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to wrap this uh, stop inside uh, um, a try catch block the reason that i'm going to do that let me i'll show you i'll show you what why i'm trying to do that so i'll just say that appm server is already stopped okay so bef uh, in our main method instead of doing start appm i'm going to give stop appm initially the reason is that if if at all some other uh, uh, if appm is running on some other instance then it will get closed first okay and then i'm going to say start appm and stop appm so i hope that you understand this uh, now let me try to run this and you will see that uh, oh, okay the driver executable does not exist oh oh i think i have given it two times here okay so that was a silly mistake now let me try to run this again right click and before that let me clear this so that we don't get confused with the logs run it as a java application because i have not used any test ng or junit uh, frameworks there you see that the appm has started welcome to the appm version that it has given and it has started on the port 4723 and you can see that the status it has returned as 200 and uh, you see that appm server is at your service this is the statement from this uh, starts appm server and after that it has entered into the stop appm method and uh, it has stopped that appm method and appm server is now shut down so this is how you can start and stop your appm service uh, programmatically and if you have any questions uh, feel free to put that uh, in the chat window and we will uh, help you to answer Thanks for watching the video.